Hello everyone and welcome to our continued discussion of the opioids. Today we're doing mini lecture number five. Our topic is opioids in the mesolimbic dopamine system. So we know that opioids are profoundly reinforcing. Let's talk a little bit about how exactly they are in the brain. One piece of interesting evidence is that opioids lower the current threshold for self-stimulation. Um, so we talked a while ago about uh, the method of intracranial self-stimulation, where a rat can um, self-administer electrical stimulation of um, the reward pathway in the brain. Um, and rats will press for this electrical stimulation of the reward pathway just as if it was a real tangible reinforcer, but only if the current is sufficiently strong. Uh, what we know from this body evidence is that op opioid administration can lower that threshold, so less stimulation is needed to activate the reward pathway. So opioids are working on that pathway. Um, this sort of reflects an enhancement of our innate reward mechanism. Uh, animals are actually really interesting in how they learn to self-administer opioids. You'd figure that perhaps a rat might not be sophisticated enough to know the right dose for itself, but with a little bit of experience, uh, rats will learn to maintain a stable blood level um, through careful self-administration. And in fact, uh, the value, the reinforcement value they seem to place on opioids and their pattern of use in animal models is uh, similar to humans. So, uh, Going back to uh, the mesolimbic dopamine system, if you remember from our uh, unit on dopamine, we discussed this pathway as being important for reinforcement. So we're coming back to it now. We know that mesolimbic dopamine signaling contributes to um, opioid reinforcement. And notice I say contributes to and not completely underlies because it's not the complete uh, answer to why opioids are reinforcing. But we do know that microinjection of opioids into the VTA or the ventral tegmental area, which is the source of uh, dopamine producing neurons in this pathway, uh, will increase the firing rate of those dopamine producing neurons and uh, thusly promote the release of dopamine into the nucleus accumbens. And remember, nucleus accumbens is part of the limbic system that's really, really important for that uh, sensation of reward or reinforcement. Uh, this works mostly through inhibition of GABAergic cells, which we'll talk about on the next slide. I do want to mention here, that, though that is um, partially responsible for the reinforcing quality of opioids, we know it's not entirely responsible for it, as uh, if you antagonize uh, dopamine signaling in the nucleus accumbens, animals will still self-administer uh, opioids. Uh, so in addition to those mechanisms, we also have another mechanism at play, which is um, action at kappa receptors. Um, however, kappa receptor activation has sort of an opposite uh, effect. It suppresses mesolimbic dopamine activity and can sort of contribute to a dysphoric feeling. So here we have um, sort of diagrammed out the different places that um, opioids can act in our reinforcement pathway. Uh, here is the principal form of reinforcement that we're talking about. Uh, for example, we have a beta endorphin releasing cell that is going to release um, opioids onto the um, terminal of the scabergic neuron, and this is going to cause um, terminal inhibition. So this is an axoaxonic synapse. This um, opioid signal is going to decrease the amount of calcium entry and thus reduce vesicular binding and release. So we're going to have less GABA released, which means uh, this mesolimbic cell that's going to be releasing dopamine is going to be more active, right? Because GABA uh, hyperpolarizes neurons and reduces their firing rate. So if you have an opioid here, um, reducing the amount of GABA being released through this uh, exoxonic connection, it's going to reduce the inhibition, right? It's inhibiting an inhibitor. And because the release of that inhibition on this mesolimbic cell is going to increase the amount of dopamine being released uh, into the nucleus accumbens, thus promoting that uh, reinforcement. Uh, over here, we have a dynorphin releasing neuron that's going to have most of its action at a kappa receptor, so it's going to sort of do the opposite. So if you have something with a stronger affinity for um, kappa uh, receptor subtypes, you'll see more action here with axoxonic inhibition of the dopamine releasing neuron, which is going to, uh, again, reduce the amount of calcium coming in at this terminal and reducing the amount of dopamine released. So these two systems are having different effects. Um, how these receptor systems are engaged is kind of a function of um, the affinity, affinities of the drug that you're using. Okay, that's it for um, opioids in the mesolimbic system. We'll see you next time.